the iconic 1952 MGM movie of the same name, starring Gene Kelly, Donald O'Connor and Debbie Reynolds, the musical is packed full of the charm, romance, comedy and Tinseltown glamour of the much-loved movie. Nominated for three Helpman Award nominations, the production has it assembled an impressive cast, including Grant Almerall and Rowan Brown, who share the lead role of leading man Don Lockwood. It's great. I mean, it's such it's a relief. It, it is it is a huge um, undertaking to do this role. It's you know we liken it to a marathon. Um, so to, to run a marathon eight times a week is just near impossible. To to continue that over months and months and touring a touring schedule. So to have both Grant and I uh, doing this role means that we can we can actually give it our all every single performance for the four shows that we have each week, and the audience is getting a wonderful um, you know at at full throttle. Just like in the movie, the show features all the songs from the glorious MGM score, including Make Em Laugh, Moses Supposes, Singing in the Rain, and the feel-good song, Good Morning. Listen, if we can pull this off, this day will go down in history for me. March 23rd. Uh, no. Your historic day is not the 23rd, it's the 24th. Well, what do you mean the 24th? It's 2.30 already. It's morning. Yes. And what a lovely morning. Good morning. Good morning. We've talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning. Good morning to you. Set in 1927, it tells the story of the first Hollywood musical, when the silver screen found its voice and left silent movies and some of its stars behind. Don Lockwood is a silent movie star with everything he could want, fame, adulation and a well-publicized romance with his co-star, Lena Lamont. But Lena has a voice that could clear a theatre in seconds, and so the plot to dub her voice in begins. Lena Lamont is um, one, power, one part of uh, Tinseltown's power couple, Don Lockwood and Lena Lamont. She's a, she's a fame-hungry, narcissistic, delusional actress who, um, she's, she's beautiful, but she doesn't really have the voice to match. Yes, and, and uh, do we get a sample of that voice? Uh, you're going to have to come tonight to hear that. Oh my God! Got to be careful not to talk too much over the There are the interviews I was going to, but I won't. Now let's talk about the wardrobe. Fabulous wardrobe. It must be nice yes, to glam up. I think it, you know, it is nice to have just a casual day look going on. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I eat my breakfast in. To achieve the famous singing in the rain scene, the production uses over 800 metres of flexible pipework, a 9,000 kilo water tank and a water system that creates a downpour from above as well as flooding from below the stage, in total raining over 12,000 litres of recycled water per performance. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain, what a glorious feeling. I'm happy again I'm laughing at clouds So dark up above The sun's in my heart And I'm ready for love In the role of Don's sidekick Cosmo Brown is the dynamic Jack Chambers who earned a Helpman nomination as Best Supporting Male in a Musical. Of course, many remember Donald O'Connor in the role, including Jack, who takes the added pressure in his stride. Absolutely, there's a lot of pressure to uh, follow in his footsteps. Um, uh, but I have a lot of fun, to be honest with you. And I, I haven't tried to copy Donald O'Connor. I mean, I know the, mu the, the movie very, very well. I saw it as a kid, and um, but I've ever since I got the role, I've purposely not to look back at the film to try and bring my own my own essence to the role and um, that's what I've tried to accomplish and, and so far it seems to be working so <laughs> well of course uh, I mean the role as he he did it and no doubt you'll do it is a very energetic role I mean yes. lots of dancing it must kill you doing the show eight times a week <laughs> it's very physical and I, yeah I'm not gonna lie it's it's exhausting um, but it's such a fun show that and I keep I keep repeating myself and talking about how joyful the show is and it but it just really is the music like if I'm walking in on, on one of my off days and I'm just feeling 
exhausted. As soon as the orchestra plays and as soon as I'm in costume, you just get this hidden energy that just takes over you and you can you can do what you do. Um, but we've also got to be really careful and you know be, make sure we're definitely warming up properly and cooling down and looking after our bodies so that we can do it eight times. <laughs>